Hi, this is Trip Hale with Blue Ridge X-Ray, and I'm here to demonstrate our Pinnacle Small Room DR system. Uh, this configuration is in the DR with the 17 by 17 state-of-the-art TFT panel. It can also be in an analog or a CR with the cassette tray. This particular installation is in a 10 by 11 size room. It can go in a very small space, and you'll notice that the floor to wall tube stand and the floor mounted wall stand, tilting wall stand, are independent of one another. That gives the flexibility of um, doing certain images as well as being installed in smaller spaces. The tube stand has all the cabling encased in our cable concealment system. It electronic locks that are on when the power goes off for safety. Longitudinal vertical rotation locks are all very conveniently located. It even has transverse movement for analog installations. Manual collimator with the 40 and 72 inch indicators and a tape measure. Vertical travel is very complete for cervical and way down for standing knee x-rays. 72 inch and 40 inch indicators by LED also can be manually uh, installed. 72 inch is for chest x-rays, cervical spines. Uh, for chest x-rays, the wall stand includes patient assist bars on each side for security, for the stabilization for the patient, for the PA view, as well as a bar to hold on to for lateral chest x-rays. Lumbar spines, hip, knee, and other studies are done at 40 inches. For this, you simply move the tube stand in to 40. The LED indicates that you're at 40 inches. You can do any upright study here. And again, it has a good amount of travel for cervical imaging all the way down to stand and knees. To do extremities, or anything tabletop, if you will. The activation foot switch is a double tap to move the wall stand. You can move it up or down and double tap to rotate the platform. The patient assist bar can be easily rotated around out of the way. To do a hand x-ray or a lower extremity, tilting mechanism comes up. You bring the tube stand over. Adjust it for the 40 inch FFD and you can do any upper extremity, lower extremity. For feet, you would have a patient seated. You would angle the wall stand the appropriate amount depending on the patient. Then you would rotate the tube stand independent from the wall stand to achieve the proper positioning. The generator is in a, uh, can be put in anywhere located in the room and the power supply for the uh, detector is located there as well. The Pinnacle operator station includes a Dell Tower computer with redundant drives, an external drive, a 24 inch HP monitor, and a 40kW high frequency generator integrated into the software. The software drives and controls the operator's console. To acquire an image, you basically input the patient's ID number, name, date of birth, select the procedure, the acquisition screen appears. Once you pick the procedure you're doing, the patient size, the anatomical program controls the exposure factors. To make an exposure, there's a two position hand switch. The image is acquired in approximately four seconds. Once the image is acquired, then you have the tools to manually shutter. You can review the exposure index using the standard uh, exposure index numbers, as well as a repeat analysis for any rejected images that are kept in the uh, system. Once the image is accepted, then you exit that screen. It goes to the work list and is kept on the hard drive. Um, the software also includes 
five concurrent web users um, and unlimited registered users for any computer in the office.